The endowment provides direct assistance to local civil society partners to implement locally designed initiatives to advance democratic governance, while the four sister organizations, SIPE, Solidarity, IRI, and NDI, draw on the democratic expertise and experiences that their sectors and loose U.S. affiliates, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Business, American Labor, including the AFL, CIO, the Republican Party, and the Democratic Party, respectively provide to implement programs aimed at strengthening their corresponding pillars abroad. Beyond the confines of the pillars they emerged from, the core institutes also apply their knowledge and expertise to strengthen local civil society and to engage with governments to advance the foundational principles of democracy everywhere they work. Collectively, these five entities have supported and continue to support thousands of civil society organizations and at least hundreds of business associations, labor unions, and political parties as they amplify the diverse voices of citizens and promote institutional democratic reform across the globe. NED and the course have supported Democrats and democratic reform in over 90 countries for more than three decades. Endowment family support to democratic institutions in Nigeria goes back almost as far, approximately 25 years, and all five institutes maintain a robust presence in the country today. Over this period of time, we have witnessed Democrats in civil society, business, labor, political parties, and government guide tremendous democratic development in the country, and we re remain committed to seeing this trend continue. At present, SIP is developing the professional and institutional capacity of businesses and coalitions of businesses so that they can constructively engage in democratic discourse. Advancing transparency and accountability in government institutions that interact with the business community, and organizing candidate debates with the input of business communities. In the context of Nigeria's upcoming 2019 elections, and with an eye to future democratic advancement, we echo this declaration today. Today's conference is not designed to produce responses to every governance challenge that each sector is confronting in Nigeria, but rather to build linkages between civil society, business, labor, government, and political parties to advance free, fair, peaceful, and democratic elections and ensure a democracy that delivers both during and after the 2019 electoral process. In a moment, Wume Badamose, SIPE's country director, will give a keynote address. We will then have four panel presentations focused on strengthening the voice of business to support democratic governance, party politics, and the role of the private sector in governance, the role of labor in democracy, and political inclusion in the electoral system. Over the next half day, we encourage participants to reflect on best practices and identify entry points for the diverse sectors to collaborate to advance democracy that delivers. SIPE's global mission is to strengthen democracy through private enterprise development, market-oriented reforms, and public-private dialogue. We are the only organization in the world to do this work. SIPE is one of the core institutes of the National Endowment for Democracy, as we just heard, and affiliated to the United States, of, the United States Chamber of Commerce. Over the course of the day, we will be discussing how the business community, working closely with government and civil society, can create better conditions for economic growth, political stability, and lasting security. One of Winston Churchill's many famous quotations is that democracy is the worst form of government, except for all the others. What we do know is that unlike other forms of government, democracy provides the long-term conditions that protect the rights and freedoms of all people, ensures that governments can be successful in, if they are accountable for their performance, and encourages all citizens to participate in the political process. And this includes the voice of business. Democracy must be nurtured. It certainly should not be taken for granted. And it is too often misunderstood. Across Africa, including Nigeria, we have seen a growing and dangerous misperception that democracy doesn't work. That market economies are failing and that violent extremism is just around the corner. 
But when we look a little closer, we see the real villains, weak governance and slow, slow economic growth. And the cause of these conditions is known to everyone. Increasing corruption, flawed elections, limited educational opportunities, and fake economic solutions which lead directly to a growing inequality between the rich and the poor. Men and women and different geopolitical uh, geographic re uh, regions. Although market capitalism and global trade have substantially reduced worldwide uh, poverty, too many citizens believe that the new economic opportunities are not being shared equitably, that the benefits are only for a few, and worst of all, that the situation can only be corrected through violence and social upheaval. It is important to mention that, finally, government needs civil society because these private organizations, be they citizens groups, NGOs, or even the press, provide services to the socially marginalized and play a key role in holding government accountable for its actions or in inaction. And like it or not, we all do better when someone is watching the stop. Think of this relationship in terms of football and what makes the game great. The teams are the business community and we like nothing than when they fiercely compete and the best team wins. That encourages other teams to do better. And in business terms, the winners make more money and hire more people and open other stores and the other competitors are motivated to make better products, sell at a better price or hire more talented people. But that's not the end of the story because it's only a good game if you have a good referee and that's the job of government. It makes and enforces the rules so that the competition is fair and it gives red cards and yellow cards to those who don't play by the rules. And finally, some of the spectators in the stands are citizens' organizations, civil society, and their job is to watch the game to ensure that the umpires and referees are fair and unbiased. Because if the referees take sides, the game is, is flawed. And everyone will know it, and the great game of football, we have lost the trust of the people. <laughs>